19 Colorado Springs, May 2022. May 15, 2022. Left Lathrop State Park, at around 8 o'clock this morning, and made sure to dump before we headed out. Took the Interstate I-25, up to Colorado City, and then broke off, to go ahead and come on up to Colorado Springs. Got checked in, and set up in our space, here at Golden Eagle RV Park. Then, we took the rest of the afternoon, and went over, and visited with, Alicia and Brandon. May 16th, 2022. We got ourselves up and moving, had some breakfast, and relaxed for a little bit. Went out mid-morning, stopped at the gym, and got Cindy signed up for that. Found a spot to have some food, while we were out, then came back to the trailer, and RV park, start speech start speech end speech, and relax the rest of the day. 5. 17. 22. Cindy, went to the gym early, and while she was gone, I took Chloe, for a walk about the park area. We now have our Starlink, and are making use of it, so far, thoroughly enjoying having a good connection for any of our viewing items, as well as the ability, to work on our phones and computer, without any hiccups. After Cindy got back from the gym, we headed over towards Alicia's, stopping along the way, to eat a midday meal, at Culver's. Then, we met Alicia at the liquor store, and ended up buying some micro beers, as well as, quite a bit of hard alcohol. Continued on over to Alicia's house, and visited with her until we had to leave, because of a house showing. Came back to the RV, and did our usual kickback and relax. 521-22. We had a snow day today. Nice, wet, spring-type snow, throughout the day, it was cloudy, and began snowing in early evening yesterday, and by the time we got up this morning, we had around 8 inches on the ground. The new Starlink, worked quite well through the storm, with the setting on the preheat, it was able to keep the snow melted off of the whole dish. 5. 22. 22. It snowed throughout the day. Not a lot of accumulation, but it did stay cloudy, and cold all day long. 5. 23. 22. Still cloudy most of the day, though it did warm up, so, we got a lot of the snow to melt off. And, in the afternoon, we did receive a fair amount of rain. As one would expect, with that much moisture coming down, we ended up with quite the mud hole, around here. 5. 24. 22. Received a phone call from Brandon, around 5.30 in the morning, saying that Alicia had gone into labor, and that he was on his way with her, to the hospital. We quickly got dressed, I took Chloe for a walk, and, we jumped in the truck, and headed for the hospital. Upon our arrival at the hospital, Cindy was able to go into the labor room with Alicia, and visit with her, while I waited in the waiting room with Brandon. Cindy's ex-husband Tom, and his wife Martha, arrived around 930 or so, and we spent the day in the waiting room, visiting with them, and waiting for the arrival of Miss Ava. Ava made her grand entry at 1.06 p.m. She was 7 pounds and 8 ounces, and measured 19 inches in length. They moved Brandon and Alicia to the mother's room, and then we were able to see the new baby, as well as check in, and make sure that Alicia was doing fine. Brandon and I made a quick trip to their house and checked on the pup, and fed the cats, then headed back to the hospital. So, now we have two wonderful granddaughters, born on this day. 5. 25. 22. Left the house at around 6.30 a.m., and went over to Alicia and Brandon's place, took Lily outside the potty, and made sure she was going to be good for the day. From there, we headed over to the hospital, checked in with the kids and made sure, that the new granddaughter was doing good. We brought Lily home with us, to spend the evening, so she would not be alone, however, she had a hard time settling down, and so as a result, none of us got very much sleep. 5. 26. 22. Cindy stayed at the kids' house last night, to keep an eye on the pup, as well as take care of the cats. After getting up this morning, and getting Chloe out for her morning walk, fed, and I took a shower, I headed over to Brandon and Alicia's house. We hung out at their house, until about 10.30 a.m., and then we went over to Costco, and picked up some new nuts for the pantry, as well as have lunch, while we were out. Came back to our house, and we were resting, when we got a call from Brandon, asking us to come over, 
and helped them out while he ran down to the drugstore to get a prescription for Alicia. We ended up staying there until almost 10 p.m., at which time we came home and went to bed. 5, 27, 22. We were a bit slow getting started this morning, with me not getting Chloe out for her morning walk until after about 8 a.m. this morning. After coming back from the walk with Chloe, I had breakfast and watched the FMCA broadcast about what will be going on in Lincoln in August. After the completion of the video, Cindy went up to wash clothing while I tried to catch up on the calendar. And at 11.15 a.m. Cindy called me and said to come up and help her as we need to go back over to Brandon and Alicia's as Alicia is down again with a splitting headache. 5, 28, 22. Our first day since Ava arrived that we were able to do our own thing, which is a positive as the kids were able to handle things. Alicia, being able to get around without the headache, being a great step forward for them. We spent our day checking out the loose clothing store, impressive in what they carried. Would fired pizza for lunch, olive oil store, then Costco, sausage from the butcher shop, and grocery shopping for food for tomorrow's dinner at Kids House to celebrate Memorial Day. Upon arrival back at the house, we unloaded the truck, put things away, watched the activity around the park, and relaxed. Tomorrow, I will need to smoke the chicken we thought out, so it doesn't go back. 5, 29, 22. Start in the morning, at the house relaxing. Went over to Brandon and Alicia's place, around noon, and took along all the food that we bought yesterday, for the barbecue today. I smoked candied salmon, and Brandon smoked ribs. Tom and Martha were there. We all visited, ate food, and got fat. We all enjoyed watching little Ava Ray doing her thing. 5, 30, 22. We spent the morning at the trailer, just relaxing, as well as prepping, and cleaning in the house. Met up with Brandon and Alicia, at their house around 1 p.m. We all went downtown, for the Colorado Springs Territorial Days, activities. We wandered about, looking at booths, eating a little food, and then went home, and dropped off Lily. Afterward, we went and had dinner, and went back to Brandon and Alicia's house. Visited with them, until around 10 p.m., and came home. Called Aaron, and wished him a happy birthday, as well as posting that on Facebook. 5, 31, 22. Today, was spent at the trailer, watching videos and movies, as well as just relaxing. Was able to take Chloe for a long walk, down around the lake. Cindy did a bit of house cleaning, and other than that, we were just pretty much vegging all day.